What is going on guys? It is Jay Hubes here, the moderately mediocre gamer, and today I'm going to give you guys my review on Control Freaks. Now, I've been debating on purchasing a pair of these for uh, about a couple weeks now. You know, I was wondering if they were worth it or not. And about a week ago, I finally decided to pull the trigger and I got myself a pair to test out. So today, I'm making a video reviewing them. I gave myself a couple of days to get used to these so I can make you guys an honest review, the most accurate review that you can find. So, let's get started. Alright, so this is actually what Control Freaks is going to send you. This is what is going to be in the package when you receive them. Nothing special. It's just this and a receipt included along with like a coupon code for like... 5% off your next purchase, but it's only valid for like a week or two after you buy them. So I think I threw that away. Anyway, let's crack these things open. Take these out. This is actually what you guys care about. You don't really care about that. Anyway, so this is what they are. There's not much to show you right now until I actually go get onto the controller and uh, show you guys some gameplay along with these. But, um, so yeah, just look around. It's just, um, hang on, let's take a look. So I got the Phantom ones, these are my first pair, so I just decided to get the recent ones. I figured the most recent ones would be the uh, best ones to choose from. Uh, so these are a tribute to Call of Duty Ghosts, as you can see, the let's focus on that. I don't know if it will, oh come on, focus. Focus! Okay, it's not going to work. Let's... Anyway, oh there it is. You can see the ghosts on the analog sticks. This one's for the left, this one's for the right. However, if you're like me, you're going to use one of these as a replacement for when the other one breaks. Because as I've heard, these do break mildly easy. You know, they, they'll last as long as what you pay for. They're like 12, they're anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks a piece. And uh, they reportedly will get you through anywhere from 6 months to a year. So with these both, anywhere from 1 to 2 years. And for 12 bucks, that's not bad at all. So anyways, let's hop over to the controller and check out some gameplay. Alrighty, so we are here with my controller. My new scuff will hopefully be here next week, so I will definitely give you guys another review on that. So anyway, let's pop these on, show you guys how to get these installed. You just take them right out of their little carrying. Take a look right here, Just this is really important. Oop. You just pop right out. Now I'm only going to put mine on my right stick because I see no benefit of putting them on the left stick because I play Call of Duty. For other games, that decision may vary. Anyway, these three clamps, you're just going to clamp on. These are actually a lot harder to get on than I thought they are, and especially with one hand, this is going to be kind of difficult. Is it on? Oh, no, one more clamp. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, oh, is it on? It is on, wonderful. So anyway, let's see if this will focus. There we go, it's actually didn't even need focusing. Anyway, so you can definitely notice the size difference between the length of the right analog stick and the left one. Now, the whole purpose behind these is to lengthen the analog stick for more precise aiming and movement. Now, pretty much, if you want to explain it in a lot simpler terms, because it's really hard to explain this, but to explain this in simple terms, pretty much what it does is it makes you seem like you have a lesser sensitivity on when you don't. So as you can see, the range of motion for these, is, or the range of motion for this, is a lot longer, and it's a way bigger range of motion than for just this stick right here, which goes like that. For this stick, you actually have a very, very wide range of motion. So. If you'd like, like I said, there's another one right here you can attach to the left stick. However, I see no benefit for that at all because, it's, I mean, for me, I play Call of Duty, and that's just for movement, you know, for um, walking, you know, side, side, up and down. It's already precise enough. There's no need for it. Plus, it kind of feels a little awkward, especially because these are the, one of the, these are some of the bigger ones that they make. They make ones that are, I believe, half as big as this. So, um, you can use those for the left stick if you like. I know a lot of gamers prefer that way over a bare left stick or you know it's just kinda all personal preference versus which ones you like there's a bunch of them on their store so you guys definitely go check those out I will include the link for control freaks in the description now let's go finish off this gameplay so you guys can see exactly what these things are capable of doing 
Alright guys, so to finish off this video, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this game. I ended up turning this into a pretty big game. I died once again, went away from a chem. That's happened to me twice now in my videos and a lot more since this game has come out. So I guess it's just my luck. I don't really know. Uh, so technically the review is over. The rest of this is just gonna be, um... It's just gonna show you guys what Control Freaks are capable of. These are only uh, about three days used to Control Freaks, so I still have a lot to get used to. My thumb is still used to that short, stubby analog stick and not to these taller control freaks. So uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If you're leaving now, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if not, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Thanks. Gloves, get down and lick the dust. Want a piece of this? Want the